Hello, this is Chef Vince here at the Pritikin Longevity Center in Miami, Florida. Today we're going to walk you through some of the items that we use here at the center. Hopefully this will help you stay on Pritikin while at home. I'm going to start you off over here. A lot of things that we use here during our breakfast. Here we have regular old skim milk. We also have a unsweetened vanilla soy milk. Westbury Natural and Silker, two of the companies that you'll find produce that. Cathix is roasted barley ground up as a great coffee alternative. Hood and Friendship are two companies that make a low fat, no salt added cottage cheese. We prefer to use that as opposed to the no fat added, which is very high in salt. You have egg beaters and egg whites, pretty easy to find those as opposed to cracking all your own eggs. Egg beaters are simply just 99% egg whites with some coloring added to it, like beta carotene and turmeric to make it look like you're having whole eggs. So sometimes it's just tricking your brain. You have some uh, dry cereals, much healthier alternatives than the typical shredded wheat, uh, honest those and crispy brown rice. These are very low in sugar, if any added. Quaker oats and steel coat oats and more steel coat oats. These are always great to have as a hot cereal. But there's other uh, hot cereals you can choose as well. Here we have lots of choices from Bob's Red Mill. Creamy hot buckwheat, eight grain. My personal favorite are these two next ones right here. Brown rice farina and corn grits. We also have millet, or if you could be fancy, you wanna say millet. Frika, barley. These are all things that you can have as an alternative uh, to oatmeal in the morning. And of course, some of these you can cook just like grains, like millet, frika, barley, can be cooked easily just like a grain. Let's show you some other things that we have here. Now, you can turn most grains into cereals, not as typical to do, but you certainly could. But most of the time you'll see us serve these as just grains. Spelt berries, or spelt here. We also have sorghum, which you can pop just like popcorn, uh, red bulgur, teff, and buckwheat. So these are all just great things to choose from. Bulgur wheat, Chinese black rice, wheat berries, Aztec blend, red jasmine rice. This is a new one that we just started recently using, black chickpeas. These are my personal new favorite. Now, how about pasta? Some people think that you can't have pasta. We just simply choose to use whole wheat pasta. Now, we have lots of different varieties here. Whole wheat orzo, whole wheat couscous, pearled couscous, farfalle or butterfly pasta, shells, penne, Silly. That was a great one to use for bolognese, really holds a lot of sauce. Gabetti. And here we have regular typical couscous. And of course, if you want to put a little tiny bit of cheese there, you have a part skim ricotta. Even better to get it fat free if you could find it. Now, if you're going to make sushi, here you go, some short grain brown rice. Also, another type of kind of black rice. You also here have some bean based pastas. So these are great for somebody who's maybe gluten free or just somebody want to get some more protein in their diet. We have a, a green lentil lasagna, which is great because you don't even have to boil that. You simply just layer it in the casserole pan and cook it a little bit longer with a little bit extra sauce. We also have a red lentil spaghetti, my red lentil penne. These are my two personal favorites. I also like to use the black bean spaghetti, the chickpea fusilli, and here you have two different chicken stock or a chicken stock and a vegetable stock. These are both unsalted. Pacific and Kitchen Basics, are two of the co best companies you're going to find out there that make this, these products. Now here we have a couple of different kinds of vinegar, but these are just two kinds of, three kinds of vinegars that you'll find at any grocery store, but there's lots of other vinegars out there. White wine vinegar, white balsamic, you can certainly use red wine vinegar as well. You know, if you're going to use vinegar, use something that has good flavor. Uh, don't use just white vinegar. Uh, here you have de bowls. This is a rice lasagna. So again, somebody who maybe is gluten-free and look right there, no boiling is necessary. You simply just uh, layer it in the, in the casserole pan and cook it a little bit longer with a little extra sauce. Here, when you're using uh, flour, which uses whole wheat flour, for somebody who's maybe uh, having a hard time adjusting the whole wheat, you can always try using white whole wheat as well. Uh, and then again, if you're somebody who's gluten-free, you have brown rice flour mm -hmm. here as well. Now, just to get you some other protein options here, we're all about plant-based protein here, so with just a few different varieties of beans that you'll see us use here, and this is just a small fraction of what we'll be using here at the center. Uh, you have fava beans, cranberry beans, lots of different things to choose from. Now, TVP, so soya, pretty much the same thing here, and uh, TVP is the ground version, 
And that is going to basically almost look like panko breadcrumbs, but it, when you cook that, it looks like uh, a cooked ground turkey. And the sasoya is a much more meatier substance than uh, tofu, uh, but it is made simply from using soy flour. Uh, so again, if you want to use tofu, you can, but people who maybe have a hard time liking the texture of tofu tend to gravitate more towards the sasoya. So this is silken tofu, and this is regular old firm tofu. It gets a little confusing because there are different versions of silken tofu, and this is an extra firm silken tofu. Here you have what we uh, would use typically here, a high heat pan. A little just quick dash of that, that's all you're gonna need in a hot skillet. Here you have some things that will also build some more flavor in your soups here. It's RW Nuts and Dairy Veggie Juice, a uh, lower sodium version of V8. Primal, unsweetened ketchup. That's a, one of the best ketchups you're gonna find in the market currently. And um, when you're gonna buy things, sometimes you might say no salt added or no sugar added. This one here is no sugar added and it's one of the lowest grams of uh, sodium you're gonna find on the market. Green Mountain Gringo and Enrico's, great brands of salsa there. And uh, here is one of the only no salt added mustard you're gonna find. Now, if your somebody doesn't feel like juicing lemons and limes all the time, you just wanna have an easier option to go for, these are the two best ones I'll find. Uh, one particular brand partic uh, here is Nelly and Joe's. Their lime juice and lemon juice are really, really good. Always better to use fresh if you could, but if you don't feel like it, or just simply don't have it available, those are always good backups. The two thickening agents we use here are either cornstarch for hot things and xanthan gum for cold things. Now, this is just a few of the things that we'll be using here at the center, but hopefully this will help you stay on the track and keep you on the right pathway and stay on Pritikin. Good luck out there.